Rent prices across the country have gone up now for the 17th month in a row, according to Realtor.com. This, along with rising utility rates, gas prices, and grocery costs, have put renters in what some are calling an impossible position. That's right. ABC6 News reporter Emily Pofall is live in Rochester right now with more on how Olmsted County is handling these rising costs. Emily, how are people coping right now? James, Laura, everyone I spoke to today pointed out that these rising rent prices most drastically impact people living paycheck to paycheck. We also know that more people are reaching out to county resources for help, but the county says those resources are running dry. They're making it hard for people to get paid from check to check to make it. As of July, national average rent sits at almost $1,900 a month. Renters in Olmsted County say they're feeling the impacts of rising prices too. Laura Fabian is a student in Rochester. Her rent went up $200 this year. It's definitely more expensive and because I'm a student and I'm not actively making any money, it definitely impacts my life for sure. It's not uncommon to hear about stories where people's rent increased to three, four hundred dollars a month. Olmsted County officials say they've seen a stark increase in the number of people applying for rental assistance. The county has around $300,000 to put towards rental assistance for the entire year of 2022. They ran out of that money in June. And they've seen the need in other areas, too, with more families facing homelessness, more calls into the housing stability hotline, and more evictions. We're really starting to see in multiple areas just this demand continue to increase as rents are going up. Since the pandemic eviction moratorium ended close to one year ago, Olmsted County sees 15 to 20 eviction cases a week. That's the impacts of inflation. Uh, it's the impact of increases in rent. The county isn't shy about the challenges they're facing, but they are working to find help for those who need it. They partner with other local agencies like Three Rivers Community Action to expand resources. In the meantime, some community members say they'll look out for each other. And I run into a lot of homeless people and I'll be like, I feel kind of sad. Winter getting ready to set in and if you ain't got money to pay rent, what you supposed to do? The county is encouraging people to reach out early if you're struggling to make rent. Oftentimes, landlords can help you develop a payment plan or accommodate you in some other way. We'll have a list of resources up on our website at kaaltv.com. James, Laura.